Here we go, back again with another match day vlog and Sunderland welcome Lincoln City to the Stadium of Light and hopefully we will get three points tonight. Three points will take us three points clear of Rotherham but of course we'll have played two games more and eight points clear of Wigan but of course we'll have played a massive five games more. That's why tonight's three points is imperative. We must get the three points and make sure we get that gap between Sunderland and Wigan so we make it more difficult and put more pressure on Wigan when they play catch-up. Right, score predictions going for a 3-0 win to Sunderland. If we have the similar team as the weekend, of course, Evans won't play. So we'll have to bring Winchester, bring Winchester back in the midfield and bring somebody in as right back. If we had that sort of team and no more injuries due to COVID, no more injuries or COVID, then hopefully we'll get three points. That kind of performance should see us over the line today. Even though Lincoln, we mustn't take them lightly. They will come here and they will do battle and try their best to upset the apple cart. But hopefully top of the table tonight with three points. Right, we'll see you in a bit. I'm here to deal with Keno, Keno. It's been a long time since you've been in the match. How long has it been? Where am I? Is this a dream or a nightmare? It's a dream! I'm not so sure I'll tell you at the end. Uh, Where have you been? Why, the Covid crack, the you know, uh, Just I'm, I'm been, I mean, not many's been. I'm been for two years. Get rid of this here. Get rid of that mask. Hey, hey. He hasn't been for two years because the Covid, Covid, score prediction in the game is. Yeah, 4-1. Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. I'm going for 3 0. Are you keeping all right? I'm not bad, I'm a John Tom, by the way. Nice one, mate. I'll be getting promoted this season. Well, I'll win the league this season, eh? Win the league! Aye, aye. Jonas, score prediction! 5 0. 5 0! Yeah. Wincy! Sorry, five Score nil. prediction 5 0. 5 0. 3 1. 3 1. 3 1. 33 to 1. 33 to 1 for 5 0. Score prediction! 3-1! 3-1! Score prediction! 2-0! There we go! Confident bunch! Confident bunch! Oh, the the top lad behind us here! 33-1 for 5-0! Can it be done again? Wow! <laughs> Covid! Scored! No, no more hell! That free kick was taken far too soon! Oh, That's never good. happened this season! That's never it. happened this never. season! 1-0 Lincoln! Chris Maguire scores the goal! Then next runs thing. in front of Lee Johnson! Judas. And gives us some of this! Judas is up next thing! Judas! It's been an awful first 30 minutes! Oh, an awful oh, first 30 minutes! Oh, Nothing's oh, happened! Oh, the three wasn't even watching the game. Took the free kick, no, and he allowed it to go. I'm going to put behind fuck you. Huh? <laughs> Thoughts on that? On. I always thought you'd got to blow your whistle, never blow his whistle. Oh, it was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> the referee wasn't even watching the game. He took the free kick, and Keen Maguire scores. I never blow his whistle, did I? <laughs> Kino, it's half time, it's uh, Sunderland nil, Lincoln 1. What was your thoughts on the first half? Huh? I've been asleep the last half an hour, but thanks for waking us up, Cherry. Are you sleeping all right? <laughs> Not bad, you, you were awake for the goal. What happened with the referee, though, with that goal? Well, the referee was facing the wrong way, and uh, they just took a short flight kick. And then when the ref turned around and they'd already taken it, he just let go. Now, I've seen millions of free kicks, I exaggerate. About 20 free kicks this season being taken too soon and the referee always blows his whistle and says take it again. Does, eh? This referee today was looking the wrong way. They took the free kick, game went on. About five seconds later, the referee turns, game goes on and Maguire scores. He didn't celebrate at first and he, then he charged towards Lee Johnson, giving Lee Johnson the chest. Give him that. Exactly. And Lee Johnson, did Lee Johnson react? I never saw him. No. Uh, probably not. I don't know, I think Lee Johnson was happy because Lee Johnson really got rid of him, didn't he? Aye. So it's 1 0 half time. Can we come back and turn this off? This is the worst 45 minutes of football I've seen at the stadium like this season, mate. 
A season, two years, time lads and lasses. <laughs> He's come back for one gift, two years, and what's happened? The worst game well, I'm only kidding, so I'm only kidding. We, <laughs> we win 2-1. Final score, 2-1. 2-1. I'll go 3-1. Come on, hopefully we can turn this around. Mick, you were down there first staff. What was that like? Not that good. Not that good? Can't of keep all of the ball at all. Can't of pass, can they? No. Can't You've got a shot off uh, um, Finley, haven't you? Still Finley, I played a good game today. First time I've been to see him. Really proud of him. He top of the league team. Beat them 10 1. 10 1? How many goals did he score? He scored two goals. He scored a really, brace, really eh? proud of him. Well done, Finley, lad. Well done. Hopefully, a few years' time, we'll see you. Playing for Sunderland. <laughs> There's a Magham Strangler in here somewhere. Where's that Magham Strangler at? Where's he at? <laughs> Good see if he's down to 10 men with 2 0 down. Thoughts on the game? Well, good well, like it. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Things, can things only get better? <laughs> oh, I was saying that at half time. Winchester sent off. I've got a new score prediction. It's been awful. It's awful. <laughs> when, when things are down and, and, and things can't get any better, chip it down. And all you, the fucking ex king uh, going to get as well. Things could. I uh, like Maguire scored the penalty. Uh, ex king. Things, things could get worse because the Macam Strangler uh, could come out. Oh, <laughs> well, it's a penalty to Sunderland now, but no red card this time. I don't know who was brought down, but Stewart is going to take the penalty. 66 minutes gone. The Mackham Strangler's now been put in his back pocket because there's no need for him now. What? We've got Ross Stewart with a penalty. Ah! Can we make this 2 1, Wincy? The big lad gives us a big young goalkeeper, good goalkeeper, this living goalkeeper. We've got a tall goalkeeper versus a tall striker. Let's keep the Mackham Strangler quiet. Come on, Stewart, baby, come on. Come on. Fingers crossed. Uh, Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, come on. Come on, referee. Come on! Let's Give us a chance, referee. Give us a chance. Come on, Stuart, 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 Stuart. Against, like Phil Collins once said, oh. against all odds. But it's 2 1. It's 2 1.
That's what I fucking think of that match tonight. Well, it's finished. Sunderland one, Lincoln City three. Where do we start? Where do we fucking start? Piss poor for performance to begin with. I mean, I could sit here, right? And I could reel off a million instances. And again, I'm exaggerating. Why the referee was fucking garbage. First of all, their first goal, right? They took the free kick. The referee wasn't even fucking looking at the play. It was looking around the pitch. Five seconds later, he turned to the game and Maguire scores. In the same game, the referee blew for Sunderland when we were taking free kicks to bring the ball back and to be retaken again. There's the first thing I could complain about. Chris Maguire going straight through one of our players. Just a yellow card. Could have been a red card. And right at the very end, Lee Johnson being sent off. What a fucking ridiculous decision the referee made there. That official, the fourth official made. Absolutely barbaric, poor, poor, poor refereeing. What happened was, and I saw it three times, Doyle takes out their man on the touchline. Their man gets up to go and basically manhandle and strangle, yes, the Macam strangle, strangle Doyle. Lee Johnson gets up and moves him away to protect Doyle and Lee Johnson sent off. What an absolute crock of shite. Absolute crock of shite. There's no way Lee Johnson deserved a red card there. No way. I ain't the biggest Lee Johnson fan. But there's no way he deserved to be sent off there. In hindsight... All the teams are playing the COVID card. And yes, I'm like, oh yes, we're not playing the COVID card. We haven't pussied out of the games, which we haven't. But in hindsight, one point from two games is not good enough. And maybe we should have played the COVID card. It's too late now. We dropped six, we dropped four points. Two against Wickham. Which, to be honest, you know, that, yeah, that was a point. But it's, it's, that's only a good point if we come today and we beat Lincoln. But we have another play out, Evans. We bring in Diamond, who was, you know, Diamond today didn't do anything at all to warrant even returning to Sunderland at the end of the season. I'm sorry. He's not good enough. It wasn't good enough. The performance from Diamond the day wasn't very good at all. It was pathetic. And you want to be in the Sunderland side. Does he want to be at Sunderland? Because, to be honest, I never saw anything at all from Diamond that, for me, warrants him to be at Sunderland next season. I'm sorry, I might be being harsh. But the team performance in the first half was shocking. From the first moment to the 45th Whistle was blown. It was absolutely shocking. It was steel. It was lethargic. There was no drive, no passion. Slow, snail's pace. What was the tactics from the off? What was the tactics from the off? It was terrible. The only player comes out with any, any kind of credit is... Yeah, I kind of fault Ross Stewart. But the rest of them were awful. Woeful. Poor performance. Goal number one. Again, it's the free kick. We've talked about it already. Maguire scores the free kick. Doesn't celebrate. Then he runs, sprints over to Lee Johnson. And you know, end of the day, I can kind of see where Chris Maguire is coming from. Because I was a Chris Maguire fan. And I still like the bloke now. I'm not going to suddenly... Hate Chris Maguire because he scored a hat trick against Sunderland. I still, I still like the bloke. I still think he's a talented footballer, and for me, we should have kept him. And he was frozen out under Lee Johnson. He was frozen out under Lee Johnson for whatever reason. I do not know, and I can understand where Lee, where Chris Maguire's, you know, the aggressions come from towards Lee Johnson on the touchline. I can understand that. 
Second half, I'm expecting something different, something new, something better. A bit more oomph, a bit more drive. Nothing in the first half. Absolutely nothing. That team there, in the that first 45 minutes there, that team is not going to make the top two. And we can see, yes, COVID, we're missing Bailey Wright massively. Massively in defence. The back, we do have... Two centre-backs in Doyle and Flanagan, or two centre-backs in Bailey Wright and Flanagan, or two in, in Wright and Doyle. But two by themselves is not good enough. We need three centre-backs for the sheer fact that two cannot make it on their own. Three is the magic number. And we missed Bailey Wright massively in the last two games. Massively. So there's one player we've missed. We had Diamond on the pitch today. Diamond wouldn't be in the first team at all. He wouldn't even be at the club. He'd be unknown if it wasn't for COVID. So there's one player in the time today. Patterson is another player that will be nowhere near the team under Lee Johnson. So really, there's only two players there, right? Two players in that team today that would have been in the starting 11. Sorry, two players that wouldn't have been in the starting 11. And we miss Bailey Wright. But that is not good enough to do. That performance is not good enough to do. That performance will not get us in the top two. You know, you, you can polish a turd as much as you want. That performance there to do is the bad side of Sunderland. That will not get us in the top two. Now we are five points above Wigan and Wigan sorry and we played five games more five points above Wigan and Wigan have five games in hand and nobody out there can come on here and tell me that they won't get six points out of those five games they might get 12 they might get 15 Rotherham same 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 points as Sunderland now have two games in hand <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> So the way it's looking now, because, you know, you can go through an unbeaten run of 10 games. But if you want to get promotion, you've got to win games like this. We always get ourselves season in, season out in a brilliant position. And we've done it once already this season. And then we seem to bottle it. We seem to throw it away for what are we down tools. I don't know what it is. Now, people come on here and say it, we've lost players through COVID, then if that's the case, maybe we should have postponed the two matches. Chris Maguire scores a penalty. You know, Winchester sent off. I don't know, understand the double jeopardy rules. I don't know what that, that is or how it takes place or whether that's because of an accidentally foul in the box. I don't know. Winchester blatantly brings his man down. Red card, penalty 2-0 to Lincoln. Sunderland get back and do a double change. Jim comes on. O'Brien comes on. We get a quick penalty. And eventually, Stewart scores a penalty. But then we have the wind. Bet you know, we're going for it. We could get the second goal. We have opportunities. 10 men against 11. And we are doing the business. Then a ball comes out. And Ricochet's out of the box. I think I, I might be wrong, but as Dan Neal goes for the shot, he completely misses it. Goes under his foot. Ball breaks away. Lincoln breaks away. And there's Chris Maguire to score the hat trick. And well done, Chris Maguire. Well done, Chris Maguire. You know, you are a class player on your day. You've got a hat trick today. You've shoved it right up Lee Johnson's arse today. And then Lee Johnson gets sent off. So, it's not good, is it? It's not good. It isn't good. And you know, uh, oh my god, the pessimistic me's the pessimistic me's coming out now because I cannot see us getting in the top two now. I think now we've we've, we've people say it's early days, yes, it's early days, long way to go, but we've lost six games now and we've just thrown the big opportunity tonight. To really stamp of authority on the league. And we bottled it again. We've just thrown it away and bottled it. So what can I say? What can I say? We move on to Accurate and Stanley on Saturday. With another player not available now. Winchester's not available. Probably Evans will come back in. But 
the next two or three games is massive because we could be miles behind miles behind so you know we've got to go and beat Akron and Stanley then we've got to go and beat Portsmouth and for me it's just always we always chasing our tail we always doing having too much there's just too much and I'm just like I just don't feel as much as I was as over the moon with the Wickham game them two points on Saturday is that taking the wind out of our sails now and this, this performance today was possibly the worst performance I've seen in a Sunderland shirt. Lacklustre, shall I say, at home this season. Right, uh, it's, I, I've rambled on enough now. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to slag off the players too much. I'm not going to slag off the team too much. I just honestly feel that we're just not good enough. I do. We do need some recruitment. We do need some players back because the team at this moment in time. You know, we're going to be too far behind. We're going to be too far behind. It's going to be playoffs again. I mean, Lincoln are down the bottom end of the table. In the bottom six, weren't they? People say it's a false position, but they're in the bottom six, Lincoln. The bottom six. And we show up today and we slow lethargic and it's just piss power. Right, thanks so much for the video. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. But the way I see it, I'll see it the way it is and I think it's going to be playoffs. See you later.